Hello, ladies and gentlemen, Greg Michalowski from ForexLaw.com. I'm going to take a look at the Aussie versus U.S. dollar. So sit tight and let's dig into it. One of these days looks just like the other. And if you go back over time in this uh, Aussie versus U.S. dollar, a lot of the days are looking like, like the other uh, up and down uh, price action, uh, staying within this red box. This uh, red box uh, has a low near the 0 0.6594 level and a high near 0 0.6705. So that's about 110 or so pips. Not a lot, of, a lot of wiggle room there over the last uh, 10, 11 trading days. And uh, we're seeing the continued continued uh, price action to the up and the down and now up again here for the Aussie versus U.S. dollar. Yesterday when I did my video, I spoke about how the price had moved back above the 100 and 200 hour moving averages. That was more bullish. But we needed to get above the 100 day moving average. We accomplished that in the Asian session. And then we needed to get above the... 200-day moving average, and we didn't accomplish that. The high price in trading here today fell short of that 200-day moving average. It's 0 0.66971, uh, and guess what happened? The price uh, started to move back to the downside, and lo and behold, the price moved back uh, to the 100-hour moving average, found support buyers, uh, but could not get above the 100-day moving average, and then fell below both the converged moving averages. Those moving averages converged because why? It's in the middle of this trading range here. And uh, it just doesn't know which way it wants to go. Uh, so the uh, sellers came in, but the uh, price couldn't get below this yellow area. And the, lo and behold, the price has been rising over the last couple hours to the upside. We're kind of where we were yesterday, folks, uh, around this uh, time. The uh, price is back above the 100 and 200 hour moving averages. We need to get below that level in order to decrease the bearish bias and stay below that level. What else can I say? I'm sorry it didn't work, it work out today. But this is what you do when you have uh, technical levels in play and those levels define your risk and limit your risk and also give you bias clues. So above these two moving averages, more bullish. But we do need to continue that saga of getting above the 100 and 200 day moving averages and then getting above the high price that we saw here uh, for, in trading last week. Uh, that level comes in at 0 0.67 to uh, 0 0.57. I could add that we also need to get above the 38.2% retracement. That's of this move down from this high to this low. Uh, remember that if the price is, uh, it has trended in a directional bias, you always need to get above the 38.2% retrace to prove that you can retrace more than just plain vanilla variety of a 38.2% retracement. So there is work to do, folks. We're just above the first uh, 100 and 200 hour moving average, and we need to stay above that. But the 100 day moving average, 200 day moving average, high price from last week, and the 38.2% retracement all remain as hurdles on the top side, and that's what happens. When the market goes this. My name is Greg Michalowski of Fortune with your trading. Bye bye now.